All right, Five Mike here, AKA San Jose. My boy, Josh Hernandez, just got done training. I seen him sipping on this protein. What kind of protein are you eating there? So uh, this is some, uh, some Max Muscle protein. Um, you know, you guys can buy, it's called Max Pro. You guys can pick it up at your local Max Muscle. I happen to get mine at uh, Max Muscle Gilroy. So if you're in that area, you can go ahead and check them out. Yeah, we walked in the door. We saw some faces like Josh Thompson, saw DC, several other people, and you actually get to train with these people, man. Tell us about your experience with training with these type of people here, AKA, man. Yeah, so I actually don't train with the pros right now, but, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm representing, you know, the other side that a lot of people don't get to see. I'm representing uh, the amateur team, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of people, you know, um, focus on the pros, right? For obvious reasons, they're you know they're some of the best fighters you know in the world. But you know, um, like I said, I'm trying to represent you know the amateur team as well. I'm trying to get the amateur team known also, you know. But uh, you know, it, it feels good, and it's pretty pretty cool, you know, to see all the pros walking around. You know, you know, you get to say hi to them. They're super nice people, super nice guys. Um, but you know, it's definitely definitely inspiring to watch them. So tell people about this camo, man. I know a lot of people have went to camo, they bounced off of it, and now the recognizable pros fighting all these local circuits, even the bigger shows, man. Tell people about camo. So camo actually stands for the uh, California Mixed Martial Arts uh, Amateur Organization. Uh, wait, no, Cam California Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Organization, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's an amateur show. They have different promotions. You know, it's uh, sanctioned by uh, California. You know, it's... It's, yeah, like you said, you know, it's given a lot of opportunity for people to, um, to you know, get their fights in before they actually turn pro, which is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty great because I don't know too many other promotions here in California specifically that, that does that, you know, so it's, it's pretty great. Shout out to you, Camo. So tell us where you grew up, man, and how you got into MMA and why didn't you end up doing something like being a painter, construction worker, or working at Walmart? E, yikes. <laughs> um, so... You know, I, I got into um, mixed martial arts through a uh, community program over in, in Gilroy. Um, uh, one of my first coaches, Mario De Leon, you know, he was running this program out of, uh, out of the east side of Gilroy, you know. And, uh, you know, I decided to take it up with one of my buddies, you know. Turns out after a while, my buddy, you know, ended up, you know, <clears throat> dropping out of the class, you know. But I really had a passion for it, you know. Around that time, I was in high school, you know. A lot of us dudes feeling like, you know, we're, we're top, we're top guns. You know what I mean? We wanna, we wanna get in there. We wanna prove ourselves. You know, so of course I wanted to, uh, to keep with it, right? Eventually, you know, I started getting a little better. You know, my coach at the time noticed it. He's like, hey, you know, hop in. Let's, um, let's, you know, let's get you trained to train some of these kids that he was also coaching. You know, so I helped with that a little bit. And then from there, I took my training a little more serious. And um, you know, I was training at a spot in Gilroy for a while. Uh, learned a lot from them and uh, eventually made the transition here to uh, the American Kickboxing Academy. All right, Josh Hernandez stepped up. He's the first amateur fighter actually that's going to do the sub mic session. So we're going to see how fast Mr. Suave can sub mic, baby. <laughs> Careful, drink, man. Oh, careful.
Oh, he's gonna get it, mate. He's gonna, he's gonna submit you. See any older brothers and sisters? I have I have a younger sister. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's 19 right now. Uh, don't look her up. That's my sister. So yeah, just one, just one right now. And I have a cat. How does your family feel about you fighting, man? So um, you know my my that's a, that's a good question, man. Um, you know my mom dad gets super nervous. Um, you know we're we're we come from a Hispanic family. You know you think like you know. Uh, mijo, dale unos chingazos, verdad? <laughs> but you know, it's not like that because my parents, they they don't really believe in fighting. You know, they will watch the fights together, some fights together, you know what I mean? My parents will like it, you know, but they, they're not really too confrontational. They don't really like um, that I fight, you know? Although they do support it, you know, they'll show up. My mom will be in the uh, bleachers, you know, closing her eyes. But you know, they're, they're very supportive of it, you know? For the first couple of years that I was training as a teenager, you know, they. They help pay with, you know, pay for it. Um, but yeah, you know, they're supportive, but you know, they get scared like everyone else's parents, I assume. <laughs> Have you had any serious injuries at all, man? Cause I, mean, I took jujitsu classes and I a couple times got like arm pop from getting an arm like I want to tap, knees, ankles, all that stuff, man. All these little things that like the casual spectator, they don't really pay attention to it or really realize what you guys go through, man. Have you had any serious injuries? I have actually, um, I, I tore a back muscle, I want to say a year and a half back, um, that I feel to this day. I was pulling an arm bar from, from the bottom, you know, the guy was, you know, a little bigger than me, so, you know, I was really trying to yank it out, and as I did, I, I heard it tear, I heard and felt it tear, and um, it sucked because right, right when that happened, I was getting ready for, uh, for, uh, to defend my title in Salinas at a Central Coast Throwdown, and... You know, I had to pull out of the fight, and um, I never got the fight that I wanted with the, with the guy that I wanted to fight. But, you know what, things happen. Things happen for a reason. And, um, yeah, but yeah, injury, injuries suck, man. Injuries suck. All right, I'm gonna give this little mock ultimatum right now. So what if, like, this chick, the sugar mama, just came up in this door right now, right? <laughs> and she's like, Josh, I don't want you fighting anymore. So check it out. I'm gonna give you a brand new Mercedes Benz. I'm gonna pay all your bills. You just chill all day, but you can't fight MMA anymore. You're gonna have all the money you want in your bank. Like you can travel, kick it with your boys, take your, your family out, she'll welcome your family. You cannot fight MMA anymore. And you had, she walked in right now. And she's like, you gotta decide right now. Tell me. There she is right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm just playing. Oh, uh, you know. Uh, how bad do you want to be a fighter? I, I want to be a fighter really bad, man, you know, and um, it's it's something that I can't take back anymore. You know, it's it's more than just fighting. It's more than just a sport to me now. It's it's a, it's a lifestyle, you know. Um, I'm sure that, you know, I speak for, for most fighters, if not all fighters, when I say that this is a lifestyle. This is what we do. Um, you know, we like to punch people in the face. We like to do it in front of everybody, you know, all the fans, families. So, you know, I, I wouldn't give this up for, for, for anybody. 
So that that's a good deal though. That sound that would sound like a good deal. Sorry, sugar mamas. Ain't gonna happen. So I wanna give uh, shout outs to anybody, man. Like anybody who truly supports you or if you got sponsors, anybody. Yeah, yeah, I got a um, couple people I wanna thank. Uh, first off, I wanna you know thank you guys, Mike, for coming out here. I know you're leaving Hollywood pretty soon. Um, I really appreciate this time, man. I wanna thank my family for, for supporting the cause. Um, I wanna thank my girlfriend. Um, you know, she's really, really supportive. Um, I'm lucky to have her. Uh, I want to thank uh, my friends, uh, my supporters, and uh, there's a couple sponsors I want to thank too. Um, starting with, uh, starting off with uh, GFY Gear, uh, my first sponsor ever. Um, really, really great quality gear. Check them out. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Garlic City Barbers. Although I'm not trimmed up right now, as clean as I should, you know. Um, check them out, Gilroy, California. Um, clean you up really, really nice. So, you know, you can get picked up by a girl. You know, just so uh, she could pay all your bills, right? <laughs> um, you know, I want to thank uh, Max Muscle Gilroy, you know, feeding me with some, you know, good good quality protein, good quality supplements. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Gilroy Screen print, uh, Printing for printing out all my shirts whenever it's uh, fight time. And uh, I want to thank uh, Dochley Wear, a brand here out of uh, San Jose, California. Uh, check them out on Instagram, Facebook, go like their page. And uh, I also want to thank The Shed, um, got the shirt on right now, actually. Uh, it's, you know, local local guys in um, in Gilroy. You know, if you guys ever need any any work done to your car, hit them up. They got you. Uh, all my people in Gilroy, um, everyone. You know, everyone that's helped me along the way. Anyone that's ever taught me a lesson. All my all my coaches, all my teammates, especially. Um, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am today without my teammates. You know, teammates, 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 teammates. You know. People want to find you on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. How can I look you up? So I don't have a Twitter right now. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at suave underscore 135 and Facebook at Josh N. Hernandez. And uh, I actually just started up a Facebook page uh, strictly to do with my, uh, with my fighting, right? So that's, uh, you can look me up under uh, Josh Suave Hernandez. Um, and also look up Mike Placentia, give him a follow, give him a, an ad, right? <laughs> follow him on, uh, on all social media. I know it's on Instagram, it's what, uh, Mike? Mike Placentia MMA or something, right? I got Mike Placentia also Fight Mike MMA page. So yeah, yeah, and YouTube. Check out his YouTube, man. This guy's got some got some cool videos, interesting uh, interviews. I'm lucky to be interviewed by this guy right now, <laughs> right? So you know, shout out to everybody. All right, y'all. So that's a lot of social media. You gotta look up him. Maybe you can look up this crazy guy too, but we'll see. But anyways, this is Josh Hernandez, Josh Suave Hernandez, AKA, and I'm Fight Mike, and we outie.